Sabbath, I want to do a quick little prayer before we start, okay? So, dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful Sabbath that you have blessed us with today, where we can all come together and worship you. Um, please let me explain and let them hear your words, not mine. And then we pray, amen. 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 Okay, guys. So today's story has to do, or not a little example, has to do with Romans 12.2. That's our memory verse today, okay? Romans 12.2. In Romans 12, 2 says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by renewing your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. So with that memory verse is saying, okay, so do you guys have an imagination? Yeah, you guys know how to use your imagination? Okay, so we have this balloon, okay? Who wants to help me? I need someone to blow. You want to blow? Okay, okay, here, you do this one, Okay. So what are some bad things that maybe could hurt God's feelings? And every time they say something, you're going to blow into that balloon, okay? So what's something? Give me examples. What could hurt God's feelings? Yeah. Yeah, no, no, but bad things. Bad things that don't make God happy. Yeah. Okay. God is stupid. Yeah, we, we say mean things. Yeah. Okay, so give us a blow. And hold it there, okay? Big blow, big blow. Yeah, okay, another one. What's something else that can hurt God's feelings? Yeah. Not sharing? Yeah, not sharing. Yeah. Yeah, pinching people. That's not nice. Keep blowing, keep blowing some more. Like when we don't go to church or when we talk in church, you know, when we eat in church, you know, when we, or when we don't help mommy or daddy wash dishes. You see, that's a good, that's good. Let me see that. <laughs> That's good. That's a lot of bad stuff that can hurt God's feelings, right? Okay? So we're just gonna give it some more bad things. Like sometimes we you know we use bad words or we lie. Those are all bad things, right? And that's what happens when you see your friends doing those things, you think it's okay, but it's not. That's called conforming. So what happens when we're, we're stuck with all these bad things, devil, the devil comes around. And when he comes and we're not filled with the Holy Spirit, oh, oh, we pop. We pop. There's nothing to protect us, right? But then when we're filled with God, there's, wa there's water in this balloon. When we're filled with God, what's some good things that make him happy? Reading our lesson, yeah. Yeah. Those things make God so happy, you know? So then when you're filled with the Holy Spirit and doing good things and being renewed by Him, see, there's water. Can you guys hear it? There's water in here. So when the devil tries to come around, look at it. The Holy Spirit protects us. Look at it. It won't pop. The Holy Spirit protects us. That's what happens when you're good, okay, guys? Look at it. Look at it. It's black. It's black. Wow. But when you're filled with the Holy Spirit, nothing bad will happen to you because he's probably... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my he can't cheat him. He knows the inside of our heart. <laughs> God, I hope we have a good day, and please let us have a good day, and let the Holy Spirit be around us. Jesus, please let us have a good day, and hope you hear this prayer, and let my sister have a good day, and let me be a good boy. In Jesus' name, amen. Listen, I'm in love. 